So there's a short. Well, you, I think most of you know of course. It's a straight character. So there's a movie coming out on him only on him. So Push is uh, is riding a horse, and we three of us. Uh, I'm I, I'm working in CFX character effects. I'll, I'll get into detail of that later. So basically, what we uh, handle is cloth for and uh, a lot of other things. So we had to work on the reins of the horse, the fur, the hair of the horse, the mane, the same kind. That's I mean, mane flowing in the air. Horse is having fur, wind on fur. Okay, great, everything perfect. Who's having a feather hat? Nice, perfect, perfect. The shot is looking so amazing. It went to lighting. It <laughs> came out as a final thing, and we can't see anything of how it's just the. Uh, Sand blowing everywhere, everywhere, bloody everything. There's a sun you can see. Oh, yeah. oh, we started laughing. Okay, great. That's what we pushed for two weeks in one shot. Yes, that is. But this is the kind of dedication they put in. For you know, I mean, it's enormous. If you you, you might feel hey, you know, it won't be be seen. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You you are not the person to decide whether it will be seen or not. Just do it. Achieve the quality, and that's. It will irritate you. It will make you worry. Why? Why are they pushing it so much? They're pushing it because it does matter. At the end of the day, when you see it on a big screen, it really does matter. And you'll be happy. Believe me, you'll be happy to see them on the big screen in a, such a scale. And you'll you'll not remember anything. All of all this hard work, working day and night, shots after shots, maybe five or six shots all together. And each of five, they have. Five extra, extra means short and short and sub shorts kind of thing. I'm not going to detail on that. So you'll be happy to see those things. I'll, I'll just play the current show over here just to help you. And this work, all of this, are done in India over here in DDU India. stressing so much about the software part because I have seen myself at the time when I used to go crazy about learning software. I had a teacher in Chakni Chok here who taught me all the Photoshop and everything to be a, become a graphic designer. And he used to see my uh, resume and tell me, iska to, he will be having four pages of software and everything. Why will he write his name and address on the resume? And he used to make fun of me. And I, now I do understand why he used to tell me all this. Now if you work in any other company, every company is having a different different way of working. They have different scripts running to make your life easier. Though the life never gets easy. But yeah, they try to help you. For DreamWorks, what they do, they have an object-based pipeline. Object-based based means what uh, you have heard about object-based uh, programming language, right? So everything, every little thing, even a small bit of uh, is an object. And you can define it. It's a more than 20 year old pipeline and it's Still improving day by day, it's just a layer of improvement, one top of another. And to be very truthful, I really don't have any idea about that. There's one person who knows the entire pipeline so well that he can fix everything. No, nobody can fix anything. I mean, it will be separate department, they will fix only, they will stress on that, they will work. That's how they work. And it's amazing. Because you can break that pipeline and you can make amazing things on that pipeline. 
So don't stress about the software, it is not required. And next thing I'll, I think uh, I had to... Uh, the next thing, oh, what should I be speaking about? I don't know. Okay, let's speak about the other thing. That is the communication. You'll come to the industry, you'll see people you know, you, you get frustrated. Many and many a times you get frustrated. Or I am the any or this thing is not happening, that thing is not happening. Life is this, life is that. My lead is uh, saying I'm not productive enough. My uh, creative call is, uh, the creative call is not according to what I was thinking. They are, uh, see, I worked in this particular shot for 10 days and now it has got changed. It's okay. It's okay. Everybody is having their own vision. Believe me, everybody is having their own vision. And it will work according to that you'll have to provide their work just remember there's a market out of, out here it's creative job it's an artistic job but it's an artistic job which provides to a market so you'll have to keep that in mind another thing is that when you are having this kind of issues with the seniors or with the people who are there to guide you just remember one thing you will see okay, some people do speak very well and some people just they, they just stand there. Uh, he, he just speaks and goes up. It never happens like that. It never happens like that. You'll have to learn. It's not that you'll have to speak in some US accent, accent or something. You just have to convey yourselves. Speak it out. Don't get frightened. We get nervous. We get nervous in front of people who are senior to us. Maybe if we go in front of... I used to get a lot of ner I lot nervous when I used to visit any of the production people who were senior. Not the foreign workers. Yeah. But it doesn't help. Speak it out. If you have a problem, speak it out. It won't. Nobody will come and bite you for speaking out. And if they throw you out of the company, you have other companies to hire you. So don't worry. Just work it out. And, and, and another thing, if you have the passion inside, just keep it burning. Because it never ends. Believe me, it never ends. Before coming to DreamWorks, I, once I thought, okay, I'm doing this same rigging thing for three and a half years. I know what I'm doing. I am doing this so much, so many times, that I've got bored out of it. I mean, really, I got. I mean, every company I have been to, I've always changed my department. It has, it just happened. I mean, Dream was, I was a match move artist. I used to cry every day on my desk. I'm sorry, <laughs> because I never wanted to do that. Uh, I came to Famous and I became a rigging animation. And I have done even set mapping and rendering over there, so basically a generalist. Went to Prana as a rigging artist. And now in DreamWorks, I'm a CFX artist. So it never hurts to learn things, different, different, different things. If you if you can improve, then that that's the way you improve. That's the way you go from one place to another. It, it actually what Mehul say makes sense. The more you learn, the more you will improve in your work, and you will enrich yourself. You'll get bored a few times. You'll feel like hey, I'm doing the same thing. Change it. Change it. Maybe change. I'm not asking you to change the company every time. No. Change the things that you're working in. Maybe go to a different department. Ask your, ask the people in the company. Okay, can I try that thing? I think I'll, I can do something better in that. If they're open enough, they will ask you. They will let you go there. They will, they will let you do the work that you want. Because if you can prove to them, okay, okay, I can, I can be more productive over there as well. So you'll become very boring and all. Change it. That's it. And lastly. Maybe, I don't know. <coughs> don't come into this industry for money. It's not there. Okay. It's not there, believe me. I was I used to stay in uh, Vasai at that point of time. So a mother came to me. She used to stay in the same apartment. She came to me for her for her son. Uh, are you to animation? Pe ho na? Yeah. Are you some, is something new? Na? Yeah, I mean, my father still doesn't understand what I do. He says, hey, I'm made up <laughs> So, yeah, it's something new. Yeah, actually, I was thinking, my son, that he's more interested into hotel management, you know, but I was thinking, this animation is very lucrative. Na? I said, who told you that? No, I mean, abhi paper mein dikhta hai kitna animation studio ho raha hai, ye ho raha hai, ho raha Yeah, could be. But uh, is he, I mean, really into it? Or are you forcing him? Forcing him? 
उसने से नो आई मीन आई थॉट के टू बी मोर लुक्रेटिव आई मीन होटल मैनेजमेंट में क्या वो शेफ गिर करता रहेगा या फिर बेहद करता है Then, no 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 if you are making a mistake it's, it's not that that easy if he is not interested don't do that and don't listen to your parents for for god's sake if they are pushing you out into this industry or even out of this industry i know people who have left very lucrative job to come into this industry because they were just passionate so if you are passionate stick to it do whatever you want don't try to find your i mean don't try to be happy with only money Find, uh, try to find your happiness in the work you do. You'll be happy. That's it. That's it.